What's going on guys? Look who I have. It's my beautiful wife Ashley. Hi. And uh, guys, I have a confession. Um, I thought there was, thought we were getting to the end of this, but we actually have a lot more boxes at the storage unit. Um, when I mean a lot more, we have like eight more boxes to go through. So I thought we were close to getting the ham equipment. We are. I didn't know how much was left out of the storage unit. All right, so we have Christmas boxes here, a Christmas box. And that's why she's here, to supervise me, uh, to make sure I do not hide this stuff to sell it. So um, we have a bunch of German, what are those things? German, like, uh, nutcrackers. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got a bunch of German nutcrackers, and she, she took all of them, and they were, like, really old. But, all right, so she's supervising with this Christmas. Let me show you guys. As always, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. We are a storage unit family. We are an eBay family, Amazon family. Poshmark family we saw online. I saw online full-time. She's got a, a real adult job. So all right, let's do this All right, so today these are actually boxes that were at the unit That one's kind of messed up. But anyways, there's a bunch of cool stuff in here I didn't realize that there was a small little corner with a bunch of stuff that we hadn't gone through yet And then we also have the Christmas box. And this is what she's gonna look at to make sure I don't hide Slash sell any of these without her knowing if she likes it and then also, guys, we have the kid over there in the monitor. <laughs> so we're du dual tasking today, guys. All right. So I'm going to set you down like always. And let's get into this. Let's get into this. All right. Hopefully Christmas is my least favorite thing. But thank goodness there's only one box of Christmas. So let's go through this here. And for those that are wondering, I'm keeping my thirst on since it's the weekend. I've got a... Really good delicious beer that kind of tastes a little bit like orangey. It reminds me of Blue Moon, so. All right, honey, do you want to do the honors? You gotta do the spirit fingers in front of the camera. You know how I do it? No, a little bit? Did you, did you see it? Spirit yeah. fingers? Okay, all right. You get a help. <coughs> I get a help? Okay. I'm a professional at this unboxing lately. Oh, is it music boxes? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That one looks old. Oh, you got it put made, in. Made in Hong Kong? Yeah, made in Hong Kong. Oh. Um, yep, made in Hong Kong, guys, right down here. Oh. Um, it's almost like plastic, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, a plastic music box. Oh, there we go. And it works. How awesome is that? All right, honey, what do we have next? So I'm guessing you're not wanting this thing. No. Okay, she doesn't want this one, guys. So we we can sell that. Was, uh, what is? Looks like it might be hand painted. Oh yeah, maybe hand painted on this one. I could be wrong. He's a pretty big Santa though. He's probably eight inches or more. Um, he's got a little issue there. This is love. And yeah. So you don't want that one either? No. Okay. What else we got? Yeah. What? She is old looking. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Oh yeah, there's something wrong. Is there? Is Mrs. Claus? Oh, she, well, she, she doesn't. Moving. She, she doesn't, doesn't make sound. No, she's just like she's probably had too many Christmases. <laughs> Um, all right, or the so she looks old though guys look at her What is this? It looks like she goes with Santa Claus um, No markings that I see oh wait, I do see a marking Yep made in Japan. Oh It says handmade in Japan. So this is handmade in Japan guys So but she doesn't sing or anything you can see there's a little cracking there, but all right, Mrs. Santa's going over with Mr. Santa. What do we have there? A little made in Japan. You don't want this one? No, it's made oh. out of cardboard. Yeah, but some of this cardboard goes for good money. Um, I had like this nativity scene that I sold. What is this? What is that? Oh, hopefully I didn't break it. Uh, anyways, I guess it doesn't do anything. 
Um, but yeah, this one says made in Japan. Focus, focus, okay. Anyways, guys, you can, you get the idea. There's a little bit discoloration there, but still really, really cool. Really cool piece. What is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, how are we holding it? Okay, guys, so. It's a little broken. Yeah, we, we busted it accidentally, but here's another music box. Um, this one looks a little newer. Probably is made in China. And yes, I'm an expert at music boxes. After you've unveiled like 200 music boxes, I think that qualifies you as kind of an expert, but not really. I'm actually still learning a lot. But yeah, guys, pretty cool. Okay. Nothing? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That is not the most gorgeous thing ever, right? Look at this little guy. What about this, honey? Do you want this one? He's cute. I'll pass. I'll pass? <laughs> what do we... Okay, so this is the... This one's set... Ah, oh, the sticker's way in there. Yep, this is made in Korea, guys. This one is made in Korea. Um... So pretty cool. And he's porcelain. All right, what do we got next? A little a globe. snow globe. Let's see what it looks like. Is it from, where's it from? Made in China. Oh, China. Made in China, probably like a, like in the 90s, probably like, I'm just gonna guess 93, because that seems like a good year. But uh, yeah, you get a little musky water in here. You gotta be careful shipping slow, snow globes or any kind of globes. I've shipped a few of them and they're kind of heavy. They don't look heavy, but when you do the listing on eBay, they get kind of heavy, so be careful of that. Uh, oh. oh, what the heck? That's awesome. That is, uh. Sorry, guys, let me show you. So I'm on Instagram. I do baby time on Instagram, but uh, yeah, you, I don't know how that was played. Oh, by the way. That's mom. Mom is doing good. You guys see that? She's doing good. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, go follow me. But uh, this is what was moving. Up, somebody's outside, guys. Let me see. What? What are you guys doing out here, all by your lonesome? I ordered USB. Super dark. Let me bring you inside here, where it's warm. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. That was what was going off on my phone. I, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It's it's a good time. All right, what do we got? Another music. Oh, this is pretty cool. So look at this guy. Do you know the song? I don't know. Okay, made in Japan. But. Um, he looks like he's made out of felt or something, yeah. so, but, um, yeah, so pretty cool. I'm gonna put him online. All right, what do we got next? Uh-oh, is that one broken? No, he just... Oh, second piece? Yeah. All right, so we have another piece here. Wow, oh wow, this thing is awesome. Okay. Wow, look at that, guys. That's cool. This thing is pretty cool. Is it, do you want this one? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, we have a maybe. We have a maybe. She may want this one. Um, this one's made in Taiwan, guys. And uh, yeah, isn't that kind of cool to see all the pieces moving? You guys see that? Probably not. That little thing's moving. But well, yeah, you put this up here, it's a second piece, and then it moves around on top. All right, what do we have next? Santa Claus is coming to town. Wow, this is awesome. Let me see, let me see. Let them see. She's a professional at winding these things up, guys. Find that magnet. 
They dance better than I do. Look at how, look, they don't even touch each other. Really good dancers. This is crazy. You guys see that? Um, I would say this is like four inches. Let's take them off for a second. Up, oh, it says, uh, made in Hong Kong. So this is a Hong Konger. You just put them up there like that. And even on the guys themselves, they say made in Hong Kong, which is kind of cool. So like on the back of him, it says Hong Kong. So it's a cool piece. All right, what's the next one? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is um, Maki. Par yeah, Partridge in a Pear Tree. Partridge in a Pear Tree. On the first oh, day of Christmas, my mother gave to me. Anyways, I'm assuming this is probably made in Japan. But it's in really good condition. No, no chips, you know. So if you guys know the name of this one, please let me know. Of the song? No, of the of the uh, item. Wow, that that's pretty cool. How about this one? You want this one? No, this actually looks like it was definitely hand painted. Yeah. Oh, is he going to skate for us? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Look at him go. He's probably a better skater than I am. Is he going to touch the edge? Nope. Wow. So let me take him off just for a second. Yeah, so this one was made in, it's kind of like a foamy texture. This one was made in Taiwan, guys. But that is really cool. Really cool. All right, that's all the that's all the Christmas. Ashley, what do you think? Are we gonna keep any of this stuff? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna keep any of this Christmas? Probably not. We have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot. Seriously, I can fill a whole storage unit for full of Christmas. That's a lot. Oh, close half a storage unit half a storage unit. All right, let's do this guys. Let's get into these last boxes here I know there's some goodies in there, and it's probably not Christmas. So let me set you down and Make a little room here And then we'll get into it so, move this. so this right here This box is um, Like really falling apart so I gotta be careful like the whole box is just, is just falling apart here. Let's see. And it was like this, guys. I never went through any of this, by the way. So you can see the box is just, it was bad. I've never been through, went through any of this. So we're gonna go through it for the first time and um, see what's in here. So, I'm gonna put this down. Wow, this is a vibrator, by by the way. I didn't think it was mom. I thought mom was, oh, it's a, wait, massages, relax. So guys, sorry, this was in one of the other boxes. I, I had a debate that it was, uh, so it is a. It's for your back and. Yeah, it's not that type of vibrator. Um, I, well, I got, I got a comic, cause I put it in the uh, main photo or the main video, and people thought it was like an actual vibrator, like an old-fashioned vibrator. But it's in there, guys. It even has the tools to it. Yeah, I don't think that would work very much. But yeah, this is an old massager. Definitely um, pretty cool. I love the uh, old packaging, just the way that they did things. 
So, all right, that's in one of the boxes we'll go through, but let's get into this actual box here. We gotta be really careful we don't, none of this stuff breaks. So we have a glass um, candle. You probably put a long, big candle in this thing. So we have one of these for the first item. And you can see it's the first time I've unwrapped this. Um, and by the way, people will probably ask, this is, uh, this paper is 719-1988. So these, this paper was in 88. Okay, so we have another one. I don't know the name of these, but they're glass. They're not, um, they're not crystal. All right. Now somebody told me the name of this on one of the, because we had something similar. Wow, was it destroyer glass? I, or no, Viking glass, sorry, Viking glass. Possibly it's Viking glass, but it's pretty heavy. And I would say it's about six inches tall, but I think it's called Viking glass, but it's really kind of a unique piece. So let me know if I'm wrong on that guys. All right. Oh, this is a, um, a salt or pepper um, squirrel. squirrel. This is a salt or pepper squirrel. And guys, he's made in Japan. Oh, it's not gonna make out. Oh, there you go. See, so made in Japan. And he's got the bottom to it. But yeah, I don't know the name of him. That's what's hard, like, how would you research something like this unless you knew what the name of it was? Like, I don't know what I, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be hard to find on eBay um, a random old squirrel, you know? All right, let's see. Next one. Oh, this is, I think this is Viking glass. Okay, this says Viking handmade. So, yeah, that other one may be Viking glass. Does that show up, Viking handmade? So this owl is pretty heavy, and he's about six inches or so. It looks like a paperweight. Yeah, oh, it looks like a paperweight. That's what Ashley said. Probably is, actually, that's smart. All right, ooh, we got some good stuff down here. I haven't went through any of this stuff, guys. Uh-oh, oh, okay. What is this? So we found the mate. We found, <sighs> we found the other one. Both made in Japan. They both have their stickers, which is cool. So found too. They definitely like collected salt and pepper, um, salt and pepper ones. And then we have another one here, but this one here doesn't have the plug to it. Oh wait, no, this isn't even salt and pepper. It has no holes up here. So this is just like a, is this a squirrel? Yeah, it's a squirrel. Anyway. Maybe we'll find the meat. We have some good stuff down here. Wow. Let's see. Okay. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy cool. Okay, so this says genuine teak wood, Thailand. So this is genuine teak wood made in Thailand. Um, and I would, if I were to guess, I'd, I mean, I could, I think this is 10 inches, 10 inches around. So, and the wood is in really good condition. I don't know how much that goes for, but really cool. And look at this. This thing is, this thing is about 12 inches. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. My house, is, my house is clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy. And it's solid wood. About 12 inches. That's a cool piece. All right. Look how dusty and dirty this stuff is. It has not been out of here in a very long time. What the heck is this? What the heck? It's an old... What? Is this an old grinder or something? Look at this. This is crazy. And then, 
Yeah, it must be like for vegetables or something. Or, I don't know, this is kind of small for vegetables. But, or cheat, what is this? Oh, okay, it says Chicago, Illinois, Federal House, ah, oh, man, number seven. Um, I don't know. I can't read this other part over here. I think it says Wars, maybe? Oh, that's not going to come. Yeah, it just says Chicago, Illinois, number seven, Federal House. So, that's a really cool kitchen piece, maybe. Look at this. Wow, look at that plate. That is cool. I don't see any markings on it. It does have the plate holder. But, yeah. It's so much, and this is one unit, guys. Literally one unit. Wow, it's incredible. All right. What? I think we already discovered these. So one of my other videos, we did have these. And the funny thing is, is I think one of these, si this size broke. So now we have four of them. I'll have to check out and put this one with the others. So. Wow, there's some cool stuff in here. I think, oh, this is a hookah, an old hookah. Wow, we got it. We'll go through this real quick. This one just Newcastle, I think, is um, it's really heavy and it's thick, and it's kind of a smaller cup, but it's like a really heavy. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing's over a pound. Um, and that's the marking on it. So. Okay, this one says something Kingware number 25 made in the United States. So, and it's just kind of like a like a milk glass, I think, or something. All right. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of dust in here. This thing is just way cool. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. For you lovers of pipes, look at this thing. It's a, it's a pipe drink, or sorry, a, a pipe cup. And it, uh, I don't recognize, it says from Japan. So that's the tag to it. And it doesn't look like there's any chips. And it's a pipe. <laughs> Isn't this thing amazing? Cool. Yeah, somebody's gonna want this thing. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy what they made back then. All right. So we have a, it's, this has gotta be, this is a hookah. An old hookah. All right, this is an old hookah. What the heck? Oh my gosh, there's crazy Avon in here. All right. Anyways, so guys, we have an old hookah in here. I think maybe the top part is in here. I would have to check. Um, anyway, let's just show this real quick. So we have an old hookah here. Here's, I actually own my own hookah. Um, we haven't hookah in a while though. It's been a while. Yeah, but I own my own hookah. And mine's got uh, three hoses. Well, wow, this one's from Italy. This one may be worth some good money here, guys. But I'm not an expert, so if you know anything about hookahs. But look, that's made in Italy. So this is an old hookah made in Italy. Look at the design on it. And it's wood up here. So I don't know. And, and this is the, this will plug the hole to the, the smoke right there. So I'm wondering if the there's more to it or not. But this is crazy, an Italy hookah. I didn't know those Italians smoked a lot of hookah. Huh, but obviously they did. Let me take a quick drink break here. All right, let's get into this. This thing is full. Um, so remember Avon, before you buy Avon, check the Avon bottle because some of these do not go for good money. But I, I've seen a lot of Avon and I haven't seen 
Um, you know, I haven't seen this whistle yet, so you gotta check. Some of it, some of it sells for good money, but a lot of it does not sell for a ton. So you gotta kind of check the Avon. So there's the whistle. Here's another one. This one doesn't have the sticker. Another Avon. So if you guys recognize any of these that are worth a lot of money, please let me know. Because some of them are worth money, but some of them are not. Um, here's one right here. Ooh, that tag comes out crisp. And this guy's kind of dirty. But, all right. Oh, I recognize this one. Yeah. I don't think it's worth a ton. You know, and it's tough too because you want to like, <laughs> you want to, you know, like lock these things up, but it gets kind of expensive. Unless maybe you do like, you know, FedEx or something, but is it worth your time? I don't know. Wow. I have not seen this one though. No. This one I have not seen. The wild turkey. Is that what it says? Yeah, wild country after shave. Let's give it two seconds, see if it, nope. Some colors will uh, show up better than others. All right, so there's that. Here, oh, this one is bad. This one may be worth some money. Look at this thing. It's a, it's a pipe Avon. And this one is wild country after shave. So this one actually may be worth some money. I know some of these are. Some Avons are definitely worth money. So if you guys know, let me know. But that thing is pretty cool. I, I, that's the first time I've seen that one. All right. Oh, wait. Wait, this goes... Oh, we found a piece that goes to the hookah. So this goes to the top of the hookah. So it's a wood piece, by the way. So if anybody knows about that hookah made in Italy, let me know. So here's another Avon. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh wait, is this Avon? Uh, yeah, Avon. I have not seen that label yet, and I have not seen this Avon yet, so that's a first. So if you guys know anything, let me know. But, yeah. Oh, plastic cover. All right. What? I have not seen this one. <laughs> it's a bullet. No, it's not lipstick. Or it's not, it's... <laughs> It's not the adult version either. Um, so I'm showing you the save on though, because some of the stuff can go for good money. So not a lot of it, but hey, look at this, look at this. Wow. This is Avon Lion or classic lion. The classic lion Avon. So he's pretty cool. All right. We have a cabin house, Avon. Eh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, some won't do it. But I have not seen this one either, the cabin house. I've seen a lot of Avon. Like when I say seen a lot, I've seen a lot like that I've found, you know, but not, I've not seen this one, this, um, this one's kind of cool. They, they obviously had a bunch of like pipe stuff. So the Savon bottle's kind of cool. Pipe Avon. I have seen this one. Um, and there's not, so far, all the ones I've checked, there hasn't been any, um, you know, they haven't been full. So I've seen that one. I've actually sold that one, but it had actually Avon in it, so. Okay. I have not seen this one, the Jaguar car. Deep Woods Aftershave Avon. I have not seen this one yet. This is the first. So that is a first. That's a pretty cool one though. Ashley, you want to keep that one? Okay, yeah. All right. Ooh, this one's the first full one, and I have not seen it. What's it called? It's called Avon Wild Country. Oh, okay. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the name on there of this. But if you guys know, 
anything about Avon and you you've seen this one please let me know it is full it's got all the Avon in it so it's the first one that is full it's a little you know whatever they call, they call those boats all right let's see very yeah now we have an old lighter old lighter let's see if it works I'll try not to burn you guys down here nope it doesn't work Ashley says let's not try all right, so we have these. I don't know what they go. Oh, one goes to the hookah. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, I think it does. One goes to the hookah. We'll put it by the hookah, just in case. Okay. So, that was the box. Let's go ahead and do the last box. Not much in here, guys, but let's do this. Oh, mom got excited. Oh, it wasn't this one. Give your, uh, oh, wow, this is crazy. Look at this thing. This, it's got the Statue of Liberty on it, guys. Let me know if you've seen this before and how much they go for. Um, this one says Log Cabin Syrup. I know some syrup stuff is collectible. So, all right, let's do this one. Oh, here's another. They obviously preferred the log cabin syrup. I don't even know if it's still in, do they still make log cabin syrup? I don't know. Do they? They're just in plastic bottles. No, oh, I'm not a big syrupy person. But look at this one. We all know who that handsome yeah, hunk is. Yeah. You guys jealous of his, I should do my hair like that. What do you think? No. No? All right. Um, okay, log cabin. All right, let's do this syrup bottle since we did all the other ones. Oh, another one. Another one. This one just says 1887, so they've been making syrup for quite a while. And log cabin. All right, so what do we got, Scott? We only have a few more things in here. So we have a first aid kit. This is kind of an older one. My main hands open this thing. Ooh, it's still got everything in there. So obviously some of the stuff you can't use, but I think some people collect like just the, the case and everything else, so. Um, all right, so. Ooh, what? What is this? What is this? <laughs> One, are you guys ready? It says on the box. Okay. I'm just seeing if they're paying attention. I don't know a lot about old um, shavers and stuff like that, but look at this thing. What the heck? How would you like that around your neck? <laughs> but I, you know, honestly, I bet you those people back then knew how to shave better than people now. Like when you go to the barbers and stuff. I don't know how much this thing's worth. Um, it still seems to work fine. And then it's also got some attachments here. Um, and it has a couple blades in here. So everything's in here. It's got the close up blade too in here, too. So, if you guys, man, if you guys know anything about this, please let me know. Uh, let me put this in here first. Around it. Okay. This thing needs a little TLC. Look at this. Oh, look at this thing. It's like kind of milky. Probably just because it's been sitting forever. It doesn't feel like crystal. Uh, it feels like glass. It probably is not worth much because this is, yeah, it's probably not worth much. See, this is plastic up here. I don't see any markings on it, but I do have a lot of decanters, guys, myself. All right, is this Ms. Bothersworth? Is that her name? I don't even know, guys. Let me know. Is this Miss Buttersworth? This one is an old Miss Buttersworth. There's the back of it. But look at this thing. Man, she made. 
That's pretty cool. I don't know how much this is worth. I've never sold it before, but we'll check. And what? It couldn't be complete without a a cowbell. Is it dinner time yet? Yeah, we're not keeping that. We're not. We're, she says we're not keeping that. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's move right along. So this is a this is a, a Liberty. Um, looks like they put cherries in here, and then it has Liberty on the glass. It has number fifteen. So I don't know how much that's worth, but we'll see. This says old fashioned XXX. XX, artificial flavor. What is this? Um, something from Candy Co. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Huh? Mm. Sounds delicious. But yeah, there's that. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing in here. You can see it's been packed for quite a while. It is a old ironing board. And this thing is made in Taiwan. So. Oh, come on, please. Focus. Focus. Focus camera. Okay, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, it looks complete and it comes with the manual, which is always good, guys. So, all right. As you can see, I like to show that there's nothing left in there. Nothing left. Everything here. So I'll have to put this away nicely tomorrow. All right, guys. All right. So um, we're getting progress. Um, We've done a lot so far. There was more in the unit than was than than I thought, right? So I've got another, I'm counting them here, about nine more boxes, and then we're gonna be on to the electronics. Um, more importantly, the ham radio and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna do that all in one video to kind of show people everything I have, just in case somebody's interested on in swooping it all up from me. Um, anyways, so yeah, we've got some cool stuff coming guys. Hopefully you like these videos um, It's coming to an end, you know, we're not going to do this unboxing For every single storage unit that has to be a really unique special storage unit to go box by box But we're doing it. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below the video And then I keep saying this but if you're in the Portland or if you're in Oregon, California or Washington or if you want to drive to Oregon on February 23rd me and some other resellers I saw on eBay have this cool event. Only cost 20 bucks. That is it. And um, it comes with free food, bowling um, is included. Everything's included. So just $20 and whatever cost it takes you to get there is all you want to pay. And you can hang out with us for four hours, February 23rd, guys. So get your tickets below. It is the link below. So have an amazing day. Two more videos tomorrow. And, uh, and then probably Wednesday we'll be doing ham radio. See you guys.